Hey, what's up guys? It's Gabe with Nerd Tech AI and making you another video on Synthflow, uh, the AI voice that I've been testing and using and having a lot of success with. So I uh, just wanted to make a real simple and easy video to show you how quickly you can set up an agent in Synthflow. Um, these are just a bunch of demo agents I've been testing. Uh, and so up here at the top right, we're going to click on create. I'm going to click on assistant. And we're going to do start from scratch. I always just prefer that. Uh, let's do um, let's do an inbound agent. Inbound is a great use case for uh, answering your calls 24-7 when you can't get to them. Um, I've been a big fan of this Valley Girl voice. Uh, there's some weird glitch here where it says there's a mismatch between the assistant's language settings and the voice settings. All you got to do is click the pencil, click select again, and it makes that go away. Uh, now up here you can name your assistant, so we'll just name this uh, Nerd Tech Test Inbound. All right, uh, they do have some advanced settings here. Really cool that you can manipulate some of this and, and try that out. Uh, patience level on the voice. This allows you to be able to uh, increase the latency if you want. If there's too much speaking over each other, I like to keep that low. Um, I've been testing the GPT-4.0 quite a bit. I've found that the Synthflow LLM model internally works pretty well, and 4 Turbo works pretty well as well, uh, but we'll keep it on 4.0. Here we're going to have a custom greeting, so we're going to put in their tech here. And anytime you have uh, a weird name, I, I typically put nerd tech together. Um, I like to put a space in there when I'm doing it for the AI just to make sure it does say it properly. Uh, we're going to say, how might I help you today? We're, I always like to make sure recordings are on. And then we're going to click next. Now here it puts a, uh, this is your prompt. So this is how it's going to know what it's going to do on the conversation. This is a really good outline. It's awesome that they give you this here. Um, even cool, more powerful feature that they have is they have this little Ask Copilot. So let's go ahead and go through and see if we can get this to work. Uh, Copilot is basically like uh, ChatGPT. It's going to walk us through some steps. So it's going to say here, uh, happy to assist. Uh, it's, it wants us to identify what's the main objective. So let's just say uh, we get leads calling in. Let's qualify those leads. All right, we'll do qualify leads. And all right, now it's going to say, here's what I like to do. Uh, we're going to copy this. This is the stuff it wants to help build the script. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to bring this over and open ChatGPT. I'm going to say, help me answer these questions. Paste in the questions, uh, use this website, uh, nerdtech.ai. All right, now it's just going to scrape my website and fill in that information for me. And this is a real fast way to uh, not only do it for yourself, but do it for clients. And copy that here. And we're going to do shift return so we don't send that yet it's also asking for the name of the agent let's say agent name will be Sammy uh, her role will be to find out if we have an interested lead who might want to book? Uh, well, let's say interested lead. Uh, we're not going to say book appointment right now. Uh, interested lead and determine what use cases we can help in their business. Let's go with that. Uh, Yeah, we'll just go with that. Send that. All right, now we're going to wait for Copilot. And I'm going to go ahead and pause. Sometimes this takes just a minute. All right, I didn't pause, but more than one second, and it brought this up. Um, it's going to say, thank you for the information. 
support to anticipate potential objections. So based on what I've given it, um, it just kind of made up these objections. So we're just going to go with that. We're going to say no, nothing else we want to add. It's going to continue to the next stage. And let's see here. All right, there we go. Um, now it's building out uh, basically the whole prompt here. Introduction. So this is the whole purpose of the script. It's saying the introduction, what we're going to do. We want to qualify, identify use cases, determine if we're fit. All right, I absolutely love this. So we're going to say nothing else. And then it's going to basically give us this uh, full prompt that it's going to build. And at the bottom, we're going to click insert and it's going to input it in here for us. I've never seen anything like this before. It's absolutely amazing. All right, so here it is. Uh, we're going to scroll down to the bottom, insert prompt, and then boom, there it is. So all you need to do here, uh, we're going to take out everything up here. That's not part of it. And then at the bottom, we want to take out, let's move my head. We want to take out everything at the bottom here. All right. And now that we got the prompt, we're going to click next. I'm gonna, I've already got a demo. Uh, let's see, these numbers are being used. Let's see if we can free up a phone number. Let me pause this real quick. All right, I got a couple phone numbers freed up here. Just had them being tied up on another assistant, so we'll just pick one of these. And we're gonna click Finish. And it's super easy also to hook up your Twilio account. You just need the SID and auth token. Uh, you go into integrations and connect it there. So we have Configure here. Uh, we have the custom grading. We have the prompt. We can uh, do SMS, real-time booking, can connect to cal.com, go high level, we can do call uh, transfer, information extractor actually takes out information that happens in the call, and we can send that to our CRM, which I would use go high level for that. And then our custom actions, we can actually make things happen trigger during the call, which is really cool. So um, keeping this simple today, uh, we're gonna just select the phone number we wanna use here to call from. Gotta put in my name. And we're going to have this give me a call and see how it does. No editing on this, guys. I'm leaving this raw so you can hear the lag. See if you like it. All right, here we go. Hey, you've called to Nerd Tech. How may I help you today? Hey, uh, yeah, I just had some questions. I didn't know if you guys could help me out, maybe uh, do some automations in my business. Absolutely, I'd love to help. Are you currently using any AI or automation solutions in your business? No, I'm like a dinosaur. I'm totally behind times. No worries, you're not alone. What specific business operations are you looking to improve or automate? You know, um, I got a real estate business and possibly wanting to use AI to qualify leads that call in. Got it. Got it. So you're looking to automate lead management and follow up? Yeah, that would be the best use case for me. Perfect. We can definitely help with that. Would you be interested in a customized AI solution to handle those leads more efficiently? Yeah, that, that's kind of what I'm looking for. Um, what are your guys' prices? Great. What are Our pricing can vary based on the level of customization and features you need. We do offer flexible plans to fit different budgets. Would you like to schedule a free consultation to discuss your specific needs and get a detailed quote? That'd be great. Let's do it. Awesome. Could you please provide your email and phone number so we can set up the consultation? Yeah, my email is, uh, it's... Go ahead, I'm ready to note. It's Gabe, G-A-B-E, at nerdtech.ai. Got it. So, Gabe at nerdtech.ai. And your phone number? Yeah, this is the best phone number to reach me at. Perfect. We'll reach out to you soon to schedule the consultation. Thanks for your time and looking forward to helping you automate your business. 
so it went pretty well. I literally created this right on the fly. Uh, again, no edits, letting you hear all the little glitches or different things. There's not really that much. Um, there was a little bit of overlap in some of the voice, but overall, super, super happy with that. Um, I think any business could use this all day long to qualify leads or to uh, use for inbound customer service. Um, and I didn't test it on this call. I, I meant to do it, but I, I did a call before I made this video and I actually asked it, are you AI? And it actually simply responded with, yeah, I'm the AI assistant for Nerd Tech. But uh, if you want to just give me a few details, I'll make sure that we can schedule a follow up with one of our real humans. So I thought that was a really good answer. And, uh, you know, anytime you have a lead calling into your business that's even halfway motivated, they're going to be fine with talking to something like that so that they can, you know, get on your calendar, get something scheduled, move to the next steps. Um, if they're interested in your services at all, I, I think this is a really good service to be able to use to help manage your calls or your leads. If you're if you found that you're being busy and maybe you're missing some of that stuff so um, hope this video helped um, I absolutely love this stuff happy to help you implement it I think this combined with go high level um, and, and managing your contacts there triggering the contacts from there or for inbound calls um, we could get all this call information and map that all on the contacts to go high level it's super super powerful um, I have a white label nerd tech version uh, that I offer for a better price underneath me. So if you guys are interested in any of this, uh, feel free to reach out. I'd be happy to help you get set up. Thanks.